Well, hi, I'm Karen Porter, and right now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a book called Conscious Choices, An Evolutionary Woman's Guide to Life. I am on the cover. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a sinister laugh, probably not a good thing, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the book. Um, Conscious Choices, An Evolutionary Woman's Guide to Life is a collection of 44 stories of women, many of whom had never written before, but we came together to tell our stories. And again, many of us didn't have places to tell our stories before. And one of the big things we had to do was figure out what our story was, because being you know, good girls all our lives, when we're used to being told to do things, and then once we're told, we do a really good job. But actually deciding what it is I want to say and how I want to say it was hard for some of us. Um, a little backtracking. In the fall of, actually it was October 2007, there was an evolutionary woman's retreat in Baltimore. And it was the second one that I had gone to. Uh, the first retreat was a wonderful, life-changing experience. Evolutionary Women is a fabulous organization based on the conscious evolutionary process as taught by Barbara Marks Hubbard. Um, and Evolutionary Women was an outgrowth of the conscious community in Santa Barbara. Um, basically, it was formed to give women a place to bring forth their gifts. Um, it's our belief that women are the great untapped resource of Earth. And if we would bring, individually, each bring our gifts forward, um, pretty much the problems would be solved. <laughs> We wouldn't have to do a whole lot more than just be ourselves and bring our individual gifts forward. So, at the first retreat, I found a really supportive, wonderful group of women. And it was a place where I felt safe to speak the truth and be who I am and really feel not judged, really feel heard and loved for who I was. And my greatest fear was leaving that circle of women, that group of women, I wouldn't find that again. So in reconnecting with many of the women there, um, I was able to, in small circles, recreate that, that kind of atmosphere. And then when the second retreat rolled around, um, I was in the shower and got the idea for the book. Um, that basically we have something to tell the world. We have something to share. Um, and that is every woman has a powerful message. Every woman has a voice. Every woman has a story. And when I stood up and said, we should write a book, um, The Evolutionary Woman's Guide to Life, right in front of me in the row, in front of me, a woman stood up and said, I'm a publisher and I'll publish that book. And so the rest of it happened pretty quickly. Uh, that was October. In January, the call went out for stories and the finished manuscript went to the publisher on Memorial Day. So it was a fabulous process and very evolutionary in itself, which I will talk about in another Little segment. Thanks for listening.